Uh -huh. <laughs> What's your favorite quote in general? Imagination rules the world. Awesome. Lister or Rimmer from Red Dwarf? Oh, God. Uh, Rimmer. Okay. <laughs> One guy gets it, guys, and that's all that matters. Cake, pie, or healthy? Pie. Pie. And Hufflepuff or Ravenclaw? Harry Potter. Ravenclaw. Excellent. You did it. Ten questions in under a minute. Oh my awesome. god, I did it, guys! We got some Canadian. My whole on. life has been leading up to this moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I get a prize. Oh my Is god. Here you guys go. Oh, okay. Catch. <laughs> yes. Yes, catch. Awesome. Don't let it take your nose out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so bad at throwing. Wow, that, <laughs> that was just like a go-go gadget arm over there. I'm gonna try to, yes, I tried to throw it to that mercy. Okay, really bad at throwing stuff. We've covered that. I didn't mean to disrespect your snacks, but oh, I just wanted to share the love. Oh, absolutely, and I have cool. more. They were just Canadian chocolate bars. I wasn't sure if you've had them before, the coffee. Chinese bars. chocolate bars? Canadian. Canadian. Oh, Canadian. Yeah, yeah. coffee. Why did I think Chinese? <laughs> Right, that makes sense. We're in Canada. No, I've never had uh, Canadian chocolate bars. Oh, wow. Well. Well, yeah, well, where I are they? I'll, I have more. I'll give you some after okay. the panel. Honestly. I think he's lying. He doesn't have any. <laughs> I promise. I promise. Okay, <laughs> cool. All right. Exciting. So why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, just to give a bit of background and... Uh... Oh, okay. I, this is a job interview now? Yes. I, <laughs> yes. I didn't know. You guys know about me, don't you? You 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 ask the questions and I answer. All How right. about that? Well, while we're doing this, if anybody has questions for, uh, for her, if you'd like to come up over to the microphone, please. Thank you. Yes. What was your favorite part about working on Red Dwarf? We'll go from there just to start with. So. Uh, my favorite part uh, about working on Red Dwarf was the people that I got to work with. Uh, Doug Naylor, who creates and writes the show and directed the episode that I was in. The four guys, obviously, um, are amazing actors and comics, comedians, you know, just amazing people to work with. So just, yeah, the whole experience and the writing was really amazing, especially on my character. I don't know if you've seen the episode. Have you seen it? Not that particular one okay, yet, yeah. but I am a fan of Red Dwarf. You should watch it. Um, the writing is just really amazing on that episode. It's like incredible. The character that Doug Naylor came up with um, that I got to play is like such a funny, unique uh, character, so well written. So yeah. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. really, really cool. Well, I have a bit of a confession to make. I've never played Overwatch. That's okay. But I told these guys... Get out! I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> so this is going to be a learning experience for me, and I'm really excited for it. Okay. And it uh, looks like we have quite the lineup over here for you. All so. right. Okay. All right. Please introduce yourselves when you come to the microphone. Speak clearly into it, and uh, Miss Paul will answer for you. Uh, first off, do I have permission to record my questions? Yeah, record go questions. for it. Awesome. Um, I'm Cody. We met like not that long ago. We did, yeah. Um, my question is, out of all of Mercy's skin in the like, skins in the game, which one is your favorite in particular? So uh, I usually uh, have always loved the witch skin the most, but um, at the moment I would have to say it's the pink skin. Yeah, yeah, that deserves a pause for sure, I agree. Uh, it's just so meaningful, and they've done something so uh, important and put out such an important precedent and message to the community and the rest of the gaming world, I think, by doing what they've done. They raised over $12.7 million for breast cancer research, so... It's just amazing, and I'm so happy, honored, excited, and I feel so, you know, just grateful to have been a part of that. On a side note, uh, so, sorry, it's just so nerve-wracking. Go for it, don't um, worry. On a side note, I actually purchased that skin Yeah. because I was close to my fiancé's mother's heart. So, and it was, you know, for a good cause. Well, and there's so many fans and uh, people in the community that have come out and shared their stories. Uh, because of the event, because of the skin, and I think that's really important. I, I really believe that uh, sharing your stories and talking about your life experiences is a way to heal. And so I think that, you know, that's one of the great things that have, has come out of this event. Besides the money that was raised, it really brought people together and opened up people's hearts and kind of allowed people to have moments, uh, you know, reflect and heal and, um, and yeah, connect with other people who have gone through the same thing. So 
I also have one request. I mentioned my friend Bryn earlier today. Can you say hi, Bryn, in Mercy's voice? Yeah, we can do shout outs at my table. Okay. Yeah, let's keep the question questions Thank here and then we'll do shout outs at the table. Thank you. Cool. You're welcome. Hello. I'm, hi. I'm Tristan and my hi, question Tristan. is if you could design a Mercy skin, like anything you want, what would your idea be and how do you think Mercy would portray that? So I um, have always wanted, I'm really into steampunk, I love steampunk, and so I asked Michael Chu, the head writer, if we could get a steampunk skin, and he said, um, I said, oh, it would be so cool, steampunk, what do you think? And he said, yeah, that's great, I hate steampunk. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> That's not going to be happening. I don't know. I'll keep thinking. But um, I'm kind of on your guys' side when it comes to all the new stuff that comes out. You know, I'm kind of just curious what they come up with next um, and always really excited. So, yeah, we'll see. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. My name is Caitlin. Hi, Caitlin. Not from Mercy. Who is your favorite Overwatch character? Who's my favorite Overwatch character? We get this question a lot, and I always say it's really hard to answer that question because we've become so close, the cast, all the actors, we're like a family, so it would be like asking who's your favorite sibling or, you know, family member, which I'm sure in some families is easy to answer. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's hard because we do attach the actors who play the character with the character so if I were to say this one character is my favorite it would be like picking a favorite person out of the cast and I can't really do that so but I love all of them and obviously I'm always excited when people are excited about the ships and all that so who's your favorite besides Mercy obviously probably Genji Genji oh who's that never heard of him <laughs> <laughs> thanks Caitlin thank you Hi there, I'm Peter, about 4100 Zen main. Nice. Um, but the actor for Zenyatta talked about for two years holding a baseball skit and he finally got it. Yeah. So just keep talking about steampunk and maybe they'll listen and it get it eventually. It may mention. happen. Are you guys into steampunk? Yeah, let's get it, let's get it. Uh, my question is, um, if there's any other voice actor you would like to see try to take on Mercy, who would you want to see do it? Maybe and Stephen Ogg? Do you guys know who that is from Gra uh, Grand Theft Auto? <laughs> I always say when people ask, like, where would you want to see Mercy and what other, like, game or... You know, I always say Grand Theft Auto. I think it'd be so funny to have Mercy in Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Peter. Hello again. Hi again. I'm short. Uh, my name is Laura. Mm -hmm. And uh, my question was, uh, are you familiar with uh, the Dungeons & Dragons game that Matt Mercer runs, Critical Yeah, World? of course. If you were to make a D&D character, what sort of character would you play? Oh god, this is so difficult. I don't know, something like Nutella related. <laughs> a character that shoots Nutella rockets, or I don't know, something like that. Yeah, is that, you think that would work? That'd be great. Okay, cool, thank you. I have Laura's endorsement, so... Can't go wrong. Thank you. Hi, Mercy. I had a question about the, um, who do you think the next hero is going to be? Who do I think the next hero is going to be? Yeah. Oh my god. I have no idea, really. We, we never know um, what they're coming up with. Uh, they're so, you know, amazingly imaginative and... I'll just wait for this microphone to be fixed. Yeah. You broke it. <laughs> you broke it. Cool. Yeah, they're so, you know, they're just incredible. The writers, the whole, everybody that works on the games, works at Blizzard, they do such a good job. So I kind of um, always refrain from being like, oh, I want to see this or I want to see that because I'm just really excited to see what they will come up with next. But I don't know. I've been saying that it would be cool to have a transgender character, you know, because the game's so diverse. Um, and they've done such a good job to create characters that, you know, everybody can identify with on some level or in one way or another that I think that's maybe a base that they haven't covered yet. So it'd be interesting to see that or maybe like another kind of shape-shifty character, you know. What do you think? What would you like to see? I think like, like I don't know, more girl characters. I like seeing like more female heroes, I guess. More female characters? Um, I think um, Wrecking Ball was a good addition to the game, though. Like he's like, get a little closer to the mic so everybody can hear you. Um, I think um, Wrecking Ball was a good addition to the game. Yeah, because he's like he can sell a lot of merchandise. Because he's a hamster. 
<laughs> so cute. I think my favorite hero that they added so far was Sombra, though. Sombra? Yeah. yeah. I love Sombra, too. Also, do you think Mercy's going to get a karaoke voice line? Um, like, for the... Oh, episode? I know the answer to this, but I can't tell you. Oh. I'll just have to wait. Thank you so much, Mercy. Thank you. Hi, Dad. <laughs> it's Daddy. Yeah, exactly. Daddy-o. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Sarah, and I have a couple questions. I hope that's okay. Yeah, go for it. Um, first, between Resurrect and Valkyrie, which one's your favorite alt? Hmm, God, it's so hard to say favorite. Um, I like a Valkyrie, I think. Yeah. Um, do you follow the Overwatch League? And if so, who's your favorite team? I follow a little bit. I, um, you know, I'm from New York and I live in New York, so I always kind of support New York Excelsior. But um, Vancouver just got a team, right? It's so awesome. Yeah, congrats. Really, really exciting. Uh, I don't know. It's hard. Again, it's like hard to pick favorites, you know? It's always fun to see um, how awesome the teams are and the players just blow my mind. Uh, we actually went, uh, Gaku Space, who voices Genji and I, we went to the Blizzard Arena in, in LA, and it was uh, New York Excelsior playing against Dallas, I think. And we went to meet the players, and they were so not interested in meeting us. <laughs> they were like, oh yeah, hey. <laughs> we're like, hey, look. And they're like, oh, uh, we're busy. <laughs> But yeah, they're awesome. So yeah, I, I sort of support New York Excelsior, but I, I support all the teams. I just love, you know, what they do is really awesome. Um, along with that, have you met XQC? And if you have, how do you feel about his band? Um, I have not, no. How do you feel about him and his band? <laughs> I feel like there should have been some action, and I understand why he was picked out. Yeah. But at the same time, I do love him as a player, and I do wish he would be in a league. But right. like, maybe don't go on social media. Yeah, or I maybe, mean, like, that's... don't interview him. Yeah, it's a tough subject, right? Um, but I think that the league does a good job, um, and they do take, you know their decision seriously and and um, I think when they make a decision it's probably the right decision that's what I would say oh god I have to be diplomatic here <laughs> yeah awesome cool. thank you thank you so much hey diva hi um I'm Alice controversial opinion go gladiators uh, <laughs> my my question uh, so you know like lots of people cosplay if you were to come to an event not having to do panels uh, Overwatch or otherwise, what would you cosplay if you could do like anything? Oh god, I would love to cosplay Mercy. I think that's awesome. I would love to wear that pizza outfit. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, Mercy, I'd love to cosplay Mercy or um, maybe Doomfist because I'm like 5'1". <laughs> uh, so that'd be fun. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Here's another diva. Hi, I'm Saya. Um, I was wondering if you could say "Go heal yourself" in Mercy's voice, and oh if God. I could record it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to say no. Aww. I'm sorry because I uh, mentioned this at a couple of panels that I want that voice line, and yeah. now this like gaming site has picked it up and written an article, and it's like all over. <laughs> yeah, I think I saw the it. The internet, <laughs> and I, I might get in trouble for that, you know, so um, I'm going to, yeah. this that's time okay. I'm going to say no. You can see it online, though. Yeah, that's okay. There I totally video. get it. It's all yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we don't want, I, we don't want me to get fired, right, guys? <laughs> no. no. And here's, here's a man from Blizzard just walking in the door right on cue. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, it's so lame. I love saying it, but I feel like. Because of that gaming website that just picked it up and like now ran an article on it, yeah. and it's like I just have gotten so many tweets about it. I'm now like, oh god, <laughs> I might get in trouble for having said that. So, but in that spirit, oh, just go heal yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, pulled it out on you. <laughs> hey, I'm Jose. Hi, Jose. Uh, if you had a dream recording with any of the Overwatch cast, who would you record with, and what would you guys talk about? Oh God, so again, I have to just say that I always kind of um, keep myself from saying, oh, I want this, or I want to see this, because 
the writers, the creators, everybody that works on the game, works at Blizzard, is just so amazingly talented and you know they know the, the characters and the lore so well that I'm always more of like in a fan position where I'm like I want to see what they come out with next that being said I really would love to have uh, have the opportunity to be able to um, record a short for Mercy just because I would love to find out more about her connections to so many of the characters you know there's a backstory with Farah that we don't know that much about yet and with um, <laughs> Genji that we don't know what's happening there <laughs> um, they just like chocolate apparently both of them uh, there's you know the whole story with Reaper I would love to find out how she's connected to Moira so there's so many questions that are unanswered and then all the voice actors are so amazingly talented we never get to record with each other actually we're always recording um, individually so Again, it's, I know it's not the answer you're looking for, but anything and everything that they come up with is always just amazing, just as you guys know. So I'm, you know, waiting patiently and in anticipation of what they come up with and throw at me. But I would love to, the opportunity to record a short for her. Yeah. One last question. Yeah, go for it. When's her character movie coming out? <laughs> well, that's what I was just saying. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know. I don't know, sorry. I have a laser pointed at my head. A blizzard laser. I <laughs> can't divulge. Die, die, die. <laughs> or as Mercy would say, die, die, don't die. Do you, do you play uh, competitively? I can't hear you. Do you play competitively? Do I play competitively? And no. I'm so bad. I'm really terrible, you guys. I'm like your um, auntie that like doesn't know how to walk straight because <laughs> she can't. I can't. I'm. It's very hard for me. I, I find it very counterintuitive. I've played and I've played very badly, and uh, it's yeah, it's not a good look. Do you have Do you have a favorite map in Overwatch? Map? Um. Uh, yeah, I, I like Ahanamura a lot. It's so pretty, and then that whole chocolate thing goes on there sometimes. <laughs> That's really cute. I love that interaction. Uh, and then Junker Town, I love. Yeah, Ilios. Just because I love Greece, though. So, yeah. What about you? What's your favorite? Um, I, I love uh, probably King's Row because during Christmas they have all the, the Christmas ornaments and everything. The Christmas. I can't the hear Christmas you. Christmas ornaments. Yes. Yeah. Very cute. Yeah, so pretty. They're so beautiful, the maps. I want to live in one. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so much. Uh, hi, hi, my name is Julian, and my, I have two questions. Go for it, Julian. The first one is, do you like working with Overwatch? Yes. And the second <laughs> question is, if you could design a map, what would it be? Ooh, that's a good question. Oh, my God. Um, hmm, if I could design a map, maybe like a New York map, like an underground New York tunnel map. I don't know, that'd be fun. Um, not that pretty though. Lots of rats running around. <laughs> um, yeah, or maybe, I don't know, do you have an idea for a map? Um, I was thinking maybe like something to pair with like King's Row or something. Yeah, cool. Like what would it look like? Like, um, with like, I don't know what it would look like, I just know the idea of it. Okay, that sounds good, yeah. Cool, I'll think about that more too. Great question, Julian. Hard questions, oh my god. Hi, my name's Luke. Hi, Luke. We met on Friday, actually. We did, yeah, I remember you. Yeah, um, so my question is, how often, on average, do you report new lines for Mercy? Oh, it really depends, yeah, I can't, I don't, there's not like an average, but we go in, you know, a few times a year, yeah. Thanks. You're welcome. Hi. Hi. I'm Anna, and I'm from El Salvador. Cool, so hi. So, my friends really love you, so many loves from Central America oh, thank Latin you. America. Lots of love, back. <laughs> <laughs> so, my question is, out of um, all Mercy's interaction, what is your favorite interaction with other character. Yeah, um, again, I'm so sorry. I know this, this isn't the answer you guys want, but 
I really don't. I can't pick favorites. I love every time I get an interaction. It's really exciting because it kind of points to more of a narrative. Obviously, you know. Um, so I love the Farah interactions. I I really, as I said earlier, I love the Genji interactions. I just think they're really cute and they show like a softer side of both of the characters, which I really love and. You know, I love that. I, I think the way that Gaku's face delivers the <laughs> the chocolate line where he goes, not Swiss. It's just so funny. So I love that. Um, it's always exciting for us because, as I said earlier, we record alone in the studio individually and then, so we don't um, get to see how they kind of get uh, matched up the interactions until, you know, they obviously go live in the game. So, um, so yeah, all the interactions I love. I, I really loved recording all the Halloween voice lines and the interactions uh, for that event because obviously I was allowed to go a little bit more, a little darker with her. and um, Yeah, so I have to say all of them. I can't pick favorites. Thank you. Thank you so much. Howdy. What time is it? I believe it's... Uh, I know Hi, boo. <laughs> <laughs> You uh, you made me promise to go to your booth, and now here I am. The, here you are. <laughs> um, there's a lot of things happening, and I have a lot of questions, but I cannot ask most questions in the future about Overwatch because confidential uh, confidential contracts. Right. So um, let's see. You've been working, and Overwatch family is the best. So you guys eventually hang out with each other. So can um, can you share us like the best like um, funniest moment when you guys work together? Oh uh, yeah, there was a really funny moment when Jen Cohn who voices Farah, Carolina Ravasso who uh, voices Sombra, and Anjali Bamani and I met up in New York. Um, we I had never met. It was the first time I met Anjali, and it was the first time Anjali was meeting Jen. So we were sitting outside at a table in New York and we were very like excited to see each other and kind of loud and you know like hugging and kind of yelling and, <laughs> and then a guy walked by in an Overwatch shirt and we went, oh my god, Overwatch, Overwatch, hi Overwatch! <laughs> And he like looked at us and started like run walking away. <laughs> he just like did not know who we were, we were and just got really. He thought we were like a bunch of crazy ladies um, harassing him. And we were like, "What? What the hell was that?" And uh, yeah, that was hilarious. And we, uh, you know, figured that he'd have a moment later in the day where he'd be like, "Oh no." What have I done? I should have said hi. So that was a great moment. And that was actually the time that we ate those cupcakes. I'm sure you guys have seen that video of us eating cupcakes. Yeah. So that was awesome. Um, yeah, there's been times where, oh, Charlotte, uh, Chung, and Gaku Space, Steven, and Genji, they took me to Disneyland in LA. Disneyland or Disney World? Disneyland. Disney. Yeah, Disneyland. And um, I got recognized like five times, but they didn't, <laughs> which was hilarious. And Gaka was wearing an Overwatch hat. <laughs> so that was funny. And uh, we decided that California was a mercy state. Um, but you know, stuff like that. Uh, we've had a lot of fun together. We always do. It's a really a, a really unique experience to work on a project where all your castmates are so incredibly uh, amazing, talented, unique in their own ways, you know, just everybody has their own projects going on and yeah, everybody's just really amazing. So um, what you see in those videos, it's all real. We really do love each other and get along and love spending time with each other. Yeah. And um, there's uh, one more thing. Is, um, is, uh, I would like to send this message for all the Overwatch casting team and working team. Thank you so much for making a game for um, all, all over the world enjoy and reunite together. And it's also great to see the Overwatch family working and working and hang out together and have fun together. And I hope that the voice casting, the voice acting crew, uh, will stay as happy as you guys can. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, thank you guys so much. You know, we uh, we do it for you guys, and the response from the community 
has been and is always just so amazing. You give so much love to us, to the actors, the creators, the whole team, everybody that works on the game. So um, yeah, it's, we do it for you guys and you really make it worthwhile because you give so much love. So we love you guys. Thank you. Hi. Hi. I'm Anya. Hi, Anya. Oh, hi. Yeah. Yes. So I was curious, um, out of the voice cast, um, is there anyone who's like, really similar in personality to their character and anyone who's like totally opposite? Oh, great question. Yes, I think uh, one person that really stands out at be as being completely opposite to their character is Chris Parson, who voices Junkrat. He's like extremely quiet, calm. He does not run around laughing maniacally <laughs> and blowing stuff up. He's incredibly sweet and gentle. Um, yeah, a lot of the other uh, actors have similarities with their characters, I think, which is understandable because, you know, uh, our voices, I think, are connected to our souls in a way and to, to who we are. Um, so, yeah, a lot of us have a lot of similar traits to our characters, but I think Chris is uh, the one that stands out the most for me yeah. for being so different. You would never ever think that that could come out of him because he's such a gentle, sweet, quiet guy. Yeah. And um, Keith uh, Ferguson, who voices Reaper as well. Oh yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> tell you more about him? You guys tell me more about him. Nobody knows. Yeah. He's elusive. He's elusive. Yeah, he's a total mystery. He's awesome, though. So talented. Hi. Hi. Uh, my name's Lily, and my question is, what is it like recording your voice in the... In the booth? Yeah. It's really, really fun. It's um, always great to go back and record new voice lines for Mercy. So you're, like, in a sound booth, and then you have an engineer that you're working with. Since I live in New York... The director and the writer, they're always patched in, so I just hear them through my headphones and they're in LA. And then we work on the lines and we um, take a lot of care and time to get them just right. And we have a lot of fun. Mercy is one of my favorite Overwatch characters, oh, but thank you. my first character I play is D.Va. Yeah, that's awesome. I love D.Va too. You saw her short, right? Yeah. Amazing. Right, guys? So good, yeah. They do such incredible work. Yeah, they're really, everything about the Overwatch team always blows my mind. It's so fun. Thank you. Thanks, Lily. Hi. Oh. I just wanted to tell my question. <laughs> you forgot your question? I did. Okay, well, the first question then is gonna be, are you planning on bringing your comedy show over here? My comedy shows? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I will probably go on tour with my shows pretty soon. Hopefully we'll we'll add Canada to the mix. Um, yes, Vancouver so yeah, Please not I can't Toronto. speak anymore. Okay. Um, Vancouver specifically, yes. I would love to bring my comedy show here. I'll work on doing that for you guys. Um, and then otherwise hopefully we'll we'll get it to um, to get recorded so you can stream it too. Yeah. Awesome. Um, and then, just in general, did you ever think this could possibly blow up the way it did? And like, how does that feel? No, I didn't. I didn't at all. As actors, you're kind of um, used to being told that something's going to be really big, and you know, you kind of go, "Yeah, all right, I'll believe it when I see it." Um, I wasn't, to be honest, a huge gamer um, ever. Or, I mean, I used to play you know, Super Mario Land on my Game Boy. Now I've dated myself. You guys are like, Game Boy? What is such a thing? <laughs> um, and I used to play S Sonic on my Sega and stuff, but then I became more of like a theater and movie nerd and acting nerd. So um, when I got the part, the first session that I did with Andrea Toyas, who's the director and casting director for most of the Blizzard games, um, at the end of the session, I remember she said, Lucy, you realize that this is really big, right? And I just kind of thought, yeah, whatever. <laughs> we'll see, you know. Uh, obviously she was right and I was wrong. Um, that's applause for me. Yeah. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, no, I think it's a good thing that I didn't go into it thinking, oh my god, this is going to be huge. I know it's going to be huge, you know. Um, I would have probably totally psyched myself out. I probably wouldn't have gotten the part because I would have been way too nervous, you know. So I'm really in awe of Matilda, for example, who voices Brigitte, uh, because she actually knew what game she was auditioning for when she got the callback, and she still managed to keep her cool. And she was an over a gamer, so I'm like in awe of the fact that she managed to keep her cool through that audition. I'm glad that I didn't know. Um, and what does it feel like, you asked? It's been one of the most incredible experiences of my life, and that's not because of you know the success or monetary success or any of that. It's been because of you guys and meeting you guys. Honestly, I don't know how to describe what it feels like to receive so much love from people all over the country, all over the world, you know, um, to meet so many of you and connect uh, with each of you individually, hear your stories, see how much the game impacts your life. Uh, I think artists in general, we do what we do for for people, you know, and when you're lucky enough to work on something that can, uh, you know, affect so many people all over the world, it's an incredible experience because it's, it's very special to be part of something, you know, that makes a difference in people's lives, where people tell you, this makes me happy when I play it, or this has gotten me through a hard time, or I've met friends, I've met, I met my fiance, I met, you know, or I was able to um, accept myself for who I am because of one of the characters, you know. All of that stuff is just really special and I am eternally grateful for being a part of this and meeting all of you guys and receiving all the love. So thank you so much, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Um, my name is Caitlin. Hi, Caitlin. Um, I have a few questions. Yeah. And Number one is, which is your favorite Mercy ship? Like, ship? in your opinion, like maybe Moisey? I support all the ships. Ding. Sorry, have to be diplomatic on that one. Um, and if you could choose her dance emote, what would it be? Dance emote? Yeah. Oh, you don't like her current dance emote? Oh, I like it. Just oh, okay, it, okay. Do you like it? I love it. Um, hmm. Maybe like tango. That'd be nice. You guys are like, no. <laughs> Stone-faced. Okay, moving on. And um, what's your favorite voice line and can you say it? Uh, I really like today, I, I, I go through phases. Today I really like, sometimes I'm not sure why I even bother. <laughs> Sorry, the AC in this place has put, uh, dropped Mercy's voice down an octave. <laughs> it's been a little bit rough, but yeah. And how do you feel when people make like weird compilations of like your voice into different like sentences and things? Uh, if it's not naughty, then it's cool. <laughs> I love it. I, I mean, all the fan art, everything that you guys, the fans make is always mind blowing as long as it's rated PG-13, <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you know. That's all for me. Cool, thank you so much, Caitlin. All right, guys, so we've got about 10 more minutes or so left, just to let everybody know, so we'll keep this amount at the moment, and if there's still time after, if you have more questions, we can take some. Cool. Hi. Hi. Yeah, I was the one cosplaying Officer Diva on Friday. Yes, Friday. I remember you. I ha I'm wondering, do you think Mercy is a wine mom or a vodka aunt? Oh, my God. What? Oh my god. I would say vodka ants, <laughs> but what did I just say? I feel like I don't know what I'm actually saying. And then, if you could give Mercy any other weapon other than the pistol, what would you give her? I would give her Nutella rockets. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Um, my name's Ella. Hi, Ella. I have a question for you. Yeah. Um, if someone were to have told you years ago, before you even thought of doing something this big, that you were going to be in something this big, how would you think you would feel? Um, it depends on who. If it if it would have been like a little wizard in a forest, like someone you knew, or like someone, someone came I back knew. from and like, that I the trust. future. 
yeah. someone that I know yeah. knows the future, how would I have felt? I would have said, great, I'm going to stop uh, being so nervous about the future. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, I don't know. I mean, you know, it's kind of similar to the question earlier on uh, did you think it was going to be this big? I think it's a good thing that you don't know in advance, you know? Because even if somebody tells you, you don't, you can't believe it until it happens anyway. And you can't appreciate it or kind of um, process it till it happens. So, yeah, I think I would have been excited probably. <laughs> but um, um, I have one more oh, question. I just got a phone. Yay, I got a phone, guys. Vodka Ant. Vodka Ant is the loud, usually, oh my god. Funnest member of your extended immediate family. Okay, cool, yeah. I have That's one me, more question. Definitely. Yeah, go for um, it. What advice do you have for aspiring actress, actors? Uh, okay, yeah, so much advice. Uh, first and foremost, I would just tell you there is no one way to get in or to make your career happen. So if you think, oh, I can't ever achieve this because I don't live here, I'm not like this or I'm not like that, just forget about that. Everybody has their own path with acting or anything um, in the arts. You know, you don't, it's not like you have to tick certain boxes to get to where you want to go. So um, that's one thing. Uh, the other thing that I would say is whatever you think is a weakness about you uh, is probably a strength. Yeah. and is what makes you unique whatever you're trying to kind of where you're trying to be like other people or you're trying to hide it or you think it's not right you should go and look at those aspects of you and really actually put those forth because those are the things that make you who you are individually and that's what's gonna make you stand out you know and then I think that you do have to love the process and love the work and the path and not look at the end game or the end goal of being rich or famous. You know, Dustin Hoffman uh, said in one of his interviews, he would still be an actor even if he wasn't, uh, you know, a superstar. He'd still be doing theater at a small repertory company in, you know, somewhere in Iowa. Um, and I think you have to have that kind of love and passion for it. And you have to find out if that's the case. Gaku Space, who voices Genji, he moved to LA about 15 years ago and he didn't have money to pay for the acting classes that he wanted to take. So he cleaned the toilets in the acting school for three years in exchange for free acting lessons. You have to have that kind of passion and love and determination and you have to uh, put yourself in a situation where you can find out if you do have that kind of commitment and passion for it. And if you do, then it's what you need to be doing and don't let anybody stop you. But put in the work, you know, take acting classes, take breathing classes, movement classes, anything you can do to develop your instrument, which is your body, your voice, um, do it, you know, read plays, watch movies, uh, and learn as much as you can, yeah. Awesome, thank you so much. You're welcome, good luck. Hello, it's me. Hi, <laughs> hi um, me. <laughs> um, so is it okay to ask two quick questions? Yeah, I think that's fine. Yeah, we're good. Um, so the first question, I was just wondering, um, if you could have an interaction with another character like as Mercy, what, what would you like love to have? Like if you could like, you could have the power to shove anything in the game. I would love to have an interaction with Widowmaker, where I say, in her voice, I go, <laughs> So silly, you guys. I'm so silly. I don't know. I just want to say, Vido, give me your baguette. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm so silly. I have no serious answers. Um, I just, yeah, I would love to just maybe, I don't know, to have an interaction with Widowmaker. Yeah, that's what I would like about baguettes and berets and croissants. That's a good one. <laughs> For the second one, so you and that vo other voice actors hang out. Like, what has been your favorite like time that you guys had? Like, a, like a certain moment? Was it a convention? Oh God, so hard to say. Um, uh, every time we hang out, it's special and it's fun. So. 
I, I told a story earlier about um, meeting Anjali for the first time and having the cupcakes in New York on the street. That was really fun. The first time I met Charlotte was really amazing uh, because we were wearing basically the same outfit and kind of instantly fell in love with each other and embraced each other. So um, that was really cool. The first time I met Gaku was in Kuwait. So that was really wild and funny and and we were in Kuwait together for like four days with Keith and, and um, Johnny. Uh, yeah, favorite moment. I think the cupcake moment was one of my favorite moments. Um, the Disneyland moment I talked about earlier where Charlotte and Aku took me to Disneyland and um, they were not recognized and I was. That was hilarious because they kind of got a little bit angry. Um, but yeah, we've had so many fun moments. In Vegas, I was in Vegas with Johnny and Anjali earlier this year and um, this couple walked up to my table with a really tiny little baby and they were like hi can you sign his onesie and I was like yes I can and I thought they were gonna pull out a onesie and put it down on the table but instead they just laid the baby on the table <laughs> and I was like oh okay it was literally like a three week old baby and I'm like what are you talking about and they're like yes yeah, sign his onesie sign it the one he's wearing and I was like uh okay oh my god and I was like shaking because babies are really fragile like they're tiny he's tiny and they don't it's not like the baby was just like oh okay she's signing my onesie I'm gonna stop moving so it was like moving its hands and legs and I was shaking and I did it somehow I signed this onesie and um then I was like I like looked around I was like oh my god did you guys see what just happened and both Anjali and Johnny were not looking at all that entire time and they looked back at me and they were like, what happened? I was like, what? I signed a onesie. I signed a baby. I signed a baby's onesie. No, it was here. And nobody saw it. Nobody took a picture. And they thought I was crazy. <laughs> so, another one of my favorite moments. Thank you so much. I hope Thank you enjoy you. your stay in Canada. Thank you so much. Mercy. Oh. Have mercy. Yes, mercy me. Uh, <laughs> I just, uh, I'm just wondering, like, you said that you liked theater. I, I'm just wondering, like, do you have any favorite plays, like, that you have been in or that you haven't been in? Or Oh, my God, so many. Uh, I love almost every single one of Shakespeare's plays. I really love O'Neill plays. I love all the Tennessee Williams plays. Um, oh God, modern plays, there's so many. Uh, Saved by Edward Bond is one of my favorite plays. It's really dark, so if you guys look it up, you might um, be a little disappointed in my taste. But it's a great play. Um, uh, oh God, so many good ones. Annie Baker plays. Uh, my dad is a great play playwright, uh, Klaus Pohl. He is uh, a very well-known playwright in Germany. His plays are great. Yeah, God, there's so many. Musical theater, I love. And I'm also wondering, um, like, uh, out of, like, film acting and theater acting and voice acting, which one's your personal favorite that you like? Oh, God. Uh, they're so different. They're just different yeah. ways of working. Uh, so I don't actually have a favorite. Uh, they're just... Uh, yeah, and voice acting, you only have your voice, obviously. You don't have... Um, your uh, face or body. I mean, you work with your body in voice acting, but you don't have it as a tool to show the audience what you're kind of trying to do. So um, you really have to be very specific and uh, kind of hone in on that instrument. Then with film and TV, there's a lot of technical stuff that goes into it as well. You have to hit marks. You have to make sure that you know you're um, getting all the blocking right, and you have to you know uh, have a lot of technical stuff in mind while you do the acting. It's also very intimate. You know, everything is smaller. Then with theater, because you're in front of a live audience, it's always kind of a very unique experience every night because the people in the room create a certain energy. Oh yeah, I know. So that's really exhilarating too. So yeah, they're very different and, and very fun in their own ways. Yeah. Thank really you very cool. much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you everybody for the amazing questions and thank you Miss Lucy Pohl for coming and joining us thank today. Thank you guys so much. So great that all of you came out. Thank you. Come say hi. I'll be at my table and otherwise I'll see you next time. Thank you Vancouver. Love Give you guys. Give a round of applause everybody.